You're about Aww. to face some of the toughest, most intimate questions you've ever been asked. You guys are Bro, this, this nigga caught, bro. This nigga caught some instigator, bro, and I love this nigga for that because he be starting about bullshit. And it's entertaining bullshit, so we gonna watch it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do this. The first prompt is, I will miss having sex with my ex. Mm. Make your split decision. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. See, this is why we love cop, bro. This is why we love, this is why I fucking love cop, bro. This nigga knows what to ask, bro. He knows what he knows how to play the game right. He knows how to start up bullshit, bro. I love it. Three, two, one. Damn. All right, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Yeah, these two niggas right here. Ooh, oh my God. The tea's gonna be so good, oh my God. Dane, you say yes, but Luna, you say no, I will not miss having sex with my ex. Why is that? Um, I just haven't really felt any sexual urges for anyone for a while, so it's not just him in particular. It's just not something that's been on my mind lately. I gotta be honest with y'all, man. I hate to be that nigga, but I have to be that nigga right here, man. How the fuck this nigga pull her, bro? I'm sorry, bro. Like, this nigga looks like a fucking... He looks like a long-haired Pete Davidson, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, how the fuck this nigga pull her, bro? He don't even look like he funny, for real, for real. I ain't gonna hold you. Hi. Jen, what attracted you both together? So I actually... He's not my type at all. <laughs> so then... Damn. 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 What the... F Damn. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm leaving the room. The fuck you... You gonna violate me in front of how many niggas? Oh, hell no. Yeah, so it was only after that he grew on me, then I was like, I do like taller, bigger guys. Okay. Yeah, so then now he's very attractive to me. How about for you? Yeah, it's like the same thing. We uh, we started as best friends, and then so I never got attracted to her whatsoever. Um, and then it just grew, you know? Like Think a line like shit. <laughs> oh, he lying. I know he's lying. This nigga's, a, this nigga's lying, bro. It's, it's that, that like love, shit. that bond that we had. We were together for eight years. And we broke up I can't about three you, years ago. He looks like he can be her dad. I ain't gonna hold you to him. I don't hold you. We, we, gonna, we gonna have to like keep an eye on these niggas for real, for real. Each other and communication. Okay, the next prompt is, my family and friends mm. thought I could do better. Mm. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Go ahead and turn All around. All those? Wow. Damn. Oh. Wow. Damn. Interesting. Okay. She's, she, the blonde girl's violent. Uh, Luna, it is hurts. you say, yes, your friends and family thought you could do better. Tell us more. My family liked Dane. It was more so my friends knowing of situations that we had been through. Do you have an example? So, remember New Year's Eve in New Orleans? Mm hmm Yeah. I was pretty what angry. Happened? What happened? Um, <laughs> we went, we went to a show and we came back and I had said something that upset him. He kind of threw a fit and he just walked out the door and I ended up spending New Year's alone that night at my friend's house because everybody else was off doing stuff. So I was just kind of crying in the bed by myself and had no idea where he went just because of a small argument that had ensued earlier. Okay, and then, so your friends know about that kind of stuff. It, you know, made them think less of him for sure. I was not the best on that New Year's and I am very aware that her friends weren't too fond of me after that, for sure. And that was just like getting close to the end of our relationship. But I, my friends and family really liked Luna, you know? Not all of them liked me. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. Ooh, so Ray, your that friends beef. and family thought you could do better? Yes. Um, you never really met any of my family, but all of my friends think that you took advantage of me and like didn't appreciate all the things that I did for you. They also found out about the PowerPoint that you made about the <laughs> vlogs after our first date. That's Damn. so funny. That, that that's... Why do y'all do this shit, bro? Why, why do y'all... I feel like... I feel like some women, they go into a date just expecting... The worst, like they don't care about none of the positive. They're not. They don't. They don't even go there just to vibe. They go there for the whole purpose of. How can I not date this nigga? How can I not date this nigga? 
how can I not date this nigga? Because, like, you're just looking for every fucking excuse in the world not to date this nigga. That's what comes to my mind when I find you made a red flag list for me after our first date. Like, you can't just vibe, bro. Just vibe, dude. Yeah. Damn. Just vibe the fuck out, bro. You making a whole fucking red flag list, bro. Niggas trying to niggas at... Bro, I took I take a, I take a cheesecake factory. Red flag, first of all. Fuck you. Nigga, I'm eating my cheesecake, bro. I'm trying to vibe. She's talking about some... This lame-ass nigga took me to the cheesecake factory. Red flag. Girls like that, they just need to be alone forever with 10 cats. And then each cat dies each year before they die. And on that final last year, they get the chance to live. They just get to reflect on all the dumbass shit they did while they're trying to find a man. They look back and it's like, oh, wow. You know, maybe if I didn't make a red flag list for him on the after our first date, maybe he we would be together. He was really he was a really good guy. He was really sweet. And I don't know why I was quitting my Cheesecake Factory. I really do like Cheesecake Factory. Maybe I would, if I was just just such a um, entitled yacht, I wouldn't be alone right now. And then they just die on that thought. I think that's what some women need. And they just have to pray to God that like. They just aren't alone in death. I don't know. Maybe their cats can follow them. I don't know. But like, cause she's red flag list after like, um, after first day. First day is crazy as fuck. Well, I'm on, after first date, bro. Respectfully, I'm trying to figure out when we can link again. Cause you gonna be on my mind after the first date. No, hilarious. It was a good PowerPoint. Day. Yeah, yeah she made a PowerPoint that? of my red flags after our first date. It's oh no, PowerPoint. Even, nah, see, this girl's laced, bro. PowerPoint's even fucking worse. PowerPoint is like. You put effort into because like when I think of PowerPoint, she probably put a fucking pictures and examples on each PowerPoint depicting each red flag. Yeah, she's done. She's done. She's done. She's done. She went through it with her friends and then we were drunk. Next prompt is I cheated on my ex. Ooh. Damn, we're only six minutes in. Bro, how 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 spicy can these questions get? We're only Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Damn. No! I was thinking it was this girl. Nah. Nah. I ain't gonna hold you. She threw me for a loop. I ain't gonna hold you. Nigga, what? You tell me she was the one that cheated, bro? I'm thinking it was her. I'm thinking it was the tall girl, bro. The tall blonde cheating on this nigga. Wow, wow. Eight years. Man, prayers out to this dude, bro, because I feel like he probably ain't even know. You're on yes. Yeah. So we were just really young. We dated since high school. We realized that we had very different <laughs> Yo. So we were just Yo. really young. We dated since high school. We realized. <laughs> Yo. His face. It just, it screams so many things. It's screaming, how could you? You lying bitch. You cheat on me. And like, this is, he didn't even know. I, this is the face of a nigga who didn't know. And like, bro, his eyes are low-key turning red. Like, y'all y'all see that shit, bro? Like, his eyes are low-key turning red, bro. <laughs> Prayers out to this man, bro. That we had... <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny. It's not funny. I'm, it's not funny. Very it's not funny. love languages. And then I was just always constantly searching that in other people. Bro, she's yapping. Bro, she's yapping. Bro, she's yapping. Bro, girls will never find a legitimate reason to cheat, bro. Anytime a girl explains to uh, anybody outside the relationship, or, or even to their nigga on why they cheated, they always just give some fucking bullshit yap session. It ends up being a yap session, bro. And them niggas is talking about fucking nothing, bro. Love languages, our signs, we're connecting. What does that mean? What does that mean? The, no, nah. I don't think he knew that. He definitely did not know that. There's no way he knew that shit, bro. If he did, it's just trauma coming back up again because he's remembering, like. And then I heard him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. 
Mm. <laughs> Dude. He's so hurt, bro. It, it's hurting me, bro. I don't like this. And so, like, everything Wait, what's like... What's name? Jennifer L. Fuck Jennifer, bro. All my homies don't fucking like Jennifer, bro. If your name Jennifer, bro, fuck you. You a cheating bitch for real. Fuck Jennifer's, bro. Really came crashing down hard after... How did you, how did you find out? It was, it was like a friend that we hung out with in a group uh -huh. for, I think, like, about three years or so. She talked to him and he talked to her behind my back. Damn. So then... The girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her. Oh, so they both she sent me me messages okay. that they deleted from each other. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. And like y'all see from earlier, that one girl in the video was talking about some guy, male friends. No. No. Acquaintances only. And even then, no. Because of bullshit like this. What, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing, bro? It hurt. And uh, niggas like, be like, girls always be like, why can't, why are guys so messed, why are guys so against guy best friends or guy friends? It's cause of shit like this, man. It's cause of shit like this, bro. And the other guy friend in the story who cheated with Jennifer was cheating on his other girl at the time too. So it's like, the girl, the ladies aren't, this, the girl, the ladies aren't uh, like excluding this either. Like, if you want best friends, you gotta watch out for them too, bro, for real. Really, really, really bad because uh, I'm I'm a guy of respect, you know, and then that's kind of disrespecting me. And you are oh, love show. Oh, for sure, it's disrespectful. Yeah, talk your shit. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I was. I mean, she was my first, and then I thought she was my last too. What was it that made you want to cheat on him? I don't know. Like I always told him, like when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters because I got cheated on before. <laughs> Yo, yo, it's always the bullshit, bro. Every time, every time. Every, now let me talk my shit. Nah, bro, let me talk my fucking shit, bro. Nah, hold on, my shit, am I, am I full screen, bro? Let me talk my shit. Let me talk my fucking shit, bro. Every fucking time without failure, bro. When a, when a girl go through some shit, when she gets her heart broken, bro, she's always gonna be the cheater at the end of the day, bro. Every time. I've seen it time and time again. I don't know why. Listen, actually, no. Let me not say all girls, but like, when girls are always big on like, ah, da, da, I would never do that. I would never do that. Ah, da, 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 da. I'll never cheat on you. Ah, da, 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 da. When they're always emphasizing that they'll never cheat on you, nine times out of ten, they're gonna cheat on you. Uh. This is some niggas will be like, this is why you don't treat girls right. No, I just feel like there's just certain girls you just don't give that type of treatment to. Her being one of them. You gotta like vet them out, you know what I'm saying, bro. But like, I mean, he loved me and I know that he loved me, but then but you I don't that. know what happened. And I like, that's my biggest regret. You don't know what happened. You sucked on next man meat, but you don't know what happened. You was moaning another nigga name. But you don't know what happened. When when the the nigga the nigga said who owns his pussy, you said you do. You don't know what happened. The nigga said, I'm better than your boyfriend. I'm, the, I'm better than your boyfriend, huh? You said yeah. But you don't know what happened. The nigga, when the nigga was digging and stroking and digging and stroking and digging and stroking and digging and stroking and digging and stroking, and, 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 and his shit slip out. You put the, you put it you put his shit back in, but you don't know what happened. You 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 let you let him nut in your mouth, and when he told you to swallow it, you swallowed, but you don't know what happened. It's a crazy world we live in, man. You hate to see it, bro. It is what it is. <clears throat> it is what it is. After the cheating, I try to make it work, you know, but it was Now I gotta come on this nigga, bro. Nah, nigga, if a girl cheats on you, man, you can never make it work again. Like you just, like you said before, you was talking about how she disrespected you. Again, yeah, once she cheats on you, you can never make it work again. Because she doesn't respect you no more. And even if you do make it work again, even if you take her back when she comes back to you, she's not going to respect, she's going to lose even more respect to you because I cheated on you. I suck another nigga's dick. I let another nigga come in me, but you're still gonna take me back. She's not gonna respect you again, so she's more likely to cheat on you again if you take her back. That's why when she cheats on you and you find out, you just gotta, you just gotta leave her alone, man. 
I get, but I, you know, I get it though. I get it though. I get why he wanted to make it work because this was his first love. He still has that emotional attachment because in the, the day, we as niggas, we're still human. We're going to feel attachment to a girl even though they cheat on us. Like that's how it is, man. We was like, and they said eight years. So that long of a time, they're going to have attachment from someone. You know what I'm saying? He felt all that attachment. He felt like he should just, he, tried, he wanted to make it work because he didn't want to lose her. But at the end of the day, that's why you got to like take a step back, give it like a good day. When you when when can go back into your logical frame, mindset, you think on it and think that you find that in the core value center of it all, she doesn't respect me. There's no way I can take her back because even if I take her back, she's never going to respect me. And if she doesn't respect me, she's more likely to cheat in the long run again. And that's when you have to leave her alone. And it's hard for you to do that because... Again, long dis- like that long relationship, like eight years, it's hard to cut some off after that, especially when they do you so dirty, because this could have honestly ended the marriage for real. This could have been a marriage for real. He probably, that's probably what he thought in his mind. This could have been marriage, but it didn't end up being that way. And it's hard to just lose those feelings that you had, because eight years is crazy, bro. Being with someone for eight years romantically, you're bound to catch feelings. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're saying, oh, I'm, I never catch feelings. I'm a fucking player, boy. You're going to catch feelings, bro. I'm sorry. We're just not, like, that's how we are as people. When we're around, when we're around people a lot that we care about, our feelings are going to be very tor- very strong towards them. And if it's sexual feelings and plus we're spending time with them, they're amplified by like 10. So I can see why he wanted to get back with her, but that's why you got to be, that's why you just got to like take a step back, take a deep breath. And really think about what happened. Think you gotta really process that she cheated on me. She does not respect me. Even though it's gonna hurt me, I can't take her back because she her she hurt me in the process. She was in a relationship with me, she would play with my feelings, she hurt me. So I cannot take her back. I'll not even give her the option to even allow me to take her back. You know what I'm saying? Wait a fuck, wait a fucking minute. Hold the fuck on. Wait, 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 wait. I just fucking realized. Where is that shit at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. And hold welcome on. Where, to where Split Decision. Where is it? Where I'm your is host, Kot Takahashi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And today, we brought four ex-couples to the studio. Where's this shit at? Some of these couples are reuniting for the first time. Some are still seeking closure. Where is it? That is a lie. And where some may still be in love. I really just like want to be with you. You're- Yo, she's tweaking. Yo, she's so tweaked out. Yo, she's tweaking. Yo, she's tweaking. Yo, she's so tweaking. This, bro, this bitch is tweaked the fuck out. Oh, nah, I don't like her, bro. You telling me you gonna cheat on this nigga and you, you feel this bitch thinks shit sweet. She wanna have her cake and eat it too. You feel like you can cheat on this nigga and you wanna get back together with this nigga. Bro, I pray, I pray that nigga does not get back with her, bro. Because, bro, if you do, it's done. If you do, it's done. If you do, bro, bro, she lost, she's, I lost respect for you. Niggas on the internet don't lost respect for you. The, my, my boy Cot, the not lost respect for you, bro. Every nigga in the line don't lost respect for your ass. And yo, most importantly, your bitch don't lost respect for you. She gon', she gon', she on you. She on you with your friend. Your friend. And the only reason you found out because the other girl that your friend was dating was also getting cheated on. That's the only reason you found out. She broke your heart. And she's talking about, oh, this bitch is tweaked out. I don't know. See. She's fucking insane. Since our separation, I've been with someone who is better in bed. Ooh. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. Yo, she's tweaking. Yo, this bitch is wildin'. She's wildin'. Yo, Jennifer is wildin'. Jennifer is a bop. She's a bop. This bitch is a bop. Yo. Nah, nah, it's done. It's done. Nah, get get Jennifer the fuck out of here, bro. I don't want to see Jennifer. Um, I don't want to see Jennifer no more, bro. She's pissing me off. I swear, Jennifer's pissing me off. I don't like this bitch, Jennifer, bro. This bitch, Jennifer, is pissing me off, bro. She's pissing me off. So you you go you go tell the nigga you cheat on your nigga, and then you gonna say that in the beginning of the video that you want to get back to your other nigga, and you talking about a nigga, I, bro. The next person, I, next person I got with, he has he's he lays it down better than me. 
This bitch is violating this nigga, bro. Oh my god. If he, oh my god, nigga, talking about there's a chance, nigga. No, this nigga needs to. This nigga needs to move on and forget this bitch Jennifer, cause this bitch Jennifer, she broke up with you to have fun. She wanted to whore around, cause like they said. She said they got married. They got they dated in high school for eight years. She got a relationship, but she wanted to home around. She wanted to be a fucking bop. And look at the evidence right here. Jennifer's a tree, bro. We don't again. What we say? Fuck Jennifer. All my niggas hate Jennifer. All my homies hate Jennifer. All my bitches hate Jennifer. We don't fucking like Jennifer. So Jen, after the breakup, yeah. there was someone else who was even better. So like when I was with him, like that's the best I ever had. But then like when we broke up, like I was with someone that like really loved me, like really like just gave me everything. He so hurts. Oh my God. This is not <laughs> No, bro. He's so hurt. Damn. I feel for my nigga. I feel for my nigga, bro. He's so hurt. Fuck this bitch. Like, in the short amount of time that, like, for eight years. He, like no, yo! He's, yo, yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting. The nigga did the fucking. And the look, and the look down. Yo, y'all niggas know when y'all see a nigga who got hurt and he do the fucking. Yeah, it's it's over, bro. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. She needs Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Mm. I don't know. I'm I'm not. I don't fuck with Jennifer at all, bro. Couldn't even feel with him, so mm. that's why I think that love their sex was better in the sense that it was like love. But I think that's what I was missing from him was like. You know, I I I don't want to talk about this bitch no more, bro. I'm just I bro. couldn't receive love the way that he gave. Did you feel that way too during the sex? Like you couldn't no. give your love? I, I thought I gave my all, 100%. <sighs> yeah, I can, never, I can never be on this show. No, no. I can never be on this show. And the fact that like, he and the fact that she cheated on him and like that just gets exposed to the public for like how many people watch this video that just gets, gets exposed to like 437,000 people as of five days who knows how many views that's gonna be in like the next two months bro like bro no I can never I can never do that shit bro anything like bro no 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 what I wanna know my ex cheated no what I wanna know the next man she sleeps with is better than me no because, respectfully, I don't even want to see my ex. Because, unless we end on good terms, even if we end on good terms, I don't want to come on the show. You talking about some, yeah, he laid it down better than you. Yeah, no. You're playing with my ego, and we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Because then, cause then, next, cause then I'm going to be like, yo, her pussy was better than yours, bro. Her pussy was just better than yours, bro. Uh, that's, that's how I'm going to be. Her head was better. <laughs> the next prompt is, I never fully trusted my ex when we were together. Make your- I, I hope he goes on yes, please. Split decisions in three, two, one. All right, everybody, go ahead and turn around. Mm. Luna, so you never, the trust wasn't fully ever there. In the beginning it was, um, and there was an incident where I was using his phone as a flashlight and a girl texted him saying, come cuddle. Oh, he's yeah, he's he's wild. Oh, he's tweaking. Now nah, he's tweaking. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. Player, this nigga. What the fuck? That nigga's tweaking out, boy. I swear, he's tweaking. That nigga is tweak the fuck out. Ah, hell no. Nah. What are we talking about? Yo. Or that nothing sexual had happened to cause that. And whether I told myself I believed him or not, I just never could really come back from it. Anything you want to say to that? Yeah, so like that was out of the blue for me as well. That was my girl best friend at the time. But no, uh, yeah, it was a random come cuddle and she. Nigga talking about random. This nigga is not a good liar. Nigga, you're not a good liar, bro. No one, no one's believing that shit. Bro, this nigga and Jennifer, bro, these niggas ain't lying. No one's believing y'all's lies, bro. 
Random girl best friend. Nigga. 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 Nigga, yo. 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 Hold on. Yeah, he's, yeah, this nigga's lace as hell. This nigga Dane, this nigga Dane is dumb as shit, bro. Hold on. Bro, my female best friend can never text me talking about some, and she has a boyfriend right now. She can never text me some come cuddle. What the fuck do y'all be on, bro? Y'all think it's dumb she's never, because like, bro, none of my female friends can text me come cuddle, bro. None of them shits, bro. In a relationship, too? Come cuddle. First of all, girls aren't just texting random niggas talking about come cuddle. Come cuddle. Yeah, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Bro, oh, my. All these niggas here are laced as fuck. Who's so, bro, the only normal couple here is, like, Priscilla and that one nigga. Like, so far, they ain't, I ain't hear, I ain't hear no crazy shit from them, bro, so far. That I was with Luna, and, like, it was just, like, Dane thing. said she was doing it on purpose yeah, to try I think it, she's like, doing so it I could see purpose. it and get jealous to try. Well, first of all, bro, let's talk about that real quick again, bro. I, I, would, I, would, have, I would have to, like, not cut off my female best friend. Well, it depends on how long we knew each other for. But I would have to talk to him, like, yo, don't make jokes like that, bro. Because, first of all, why are your female friends even joking around like that? See, this is what I'd be talking about, bro. This is what people be talking about when people say friends can really, just friends of any gender can really just fuck up your relationship you have with somebody, bro. Because trying to piss you off, what about that is funny? What about that is funny, bro? That's not funny. Like, that shit is not funny at all. That's not funny. You're trying to piss off this girl to think that you're trying to fuck with this guy. Like, bro. Shit like that. That creates cracks. That creates cracks in the relationship armor, bro. It's creating cracks. People be thinking that shit's just jokes. No, that's not jokes at all, nigga. It, jokes. And I'm not even, I'm, bro, in terms of the whole joke shit, bro, I believe there's truth behind every fucking joke. But anyways, so let's, we're not going to get into that right now. But yeah, you're putting in cracks in that fucking relationship, bro. And then, like, that just builds distrust for that female best friend over time. Because then the girl's going to be like... Well, I don't like her, bro. Ah, da, 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 da. And then the guy first friend, he's gonna be like, well, she didn't do anything wrong. She's just my friend. She's just my friend. And it's just like, because like she'd already done some stupid bullshit to like fuck up y'all relationship, bro. So it's like, you can't even be mad at the girl for being mad at the other girl for doing that shit or not trusting her because of the bullshit she done pulled. Talking about jokes. Ah, oh, nah. See, this is why I'm probably in the future, I'm probably just gonna keep my relationship private. And your relationship, I mean, I'm probably just gonna have to keep it private, bro. Because, bro, I'm not trying to have nobody do no dumb shit in my relationship, bro. No nigga make some fucking joke about my girl. Some her girlfriends make a joke about me or my female friends make a joke about her or vice versa. No. Another thing. If a girl feels comfortable or a, if a guy or a girl feels comfortable dissing your partner and you allow that, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, no. I, I pray you seek help, because you're wrong. Next prompt is, I've recently cried thinking about my- Ooh, if Jennifer goes to yes, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. I'm, if she goes to fucking, if Jennifer goes to fucking yes, I'm done. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. This bitch is tweaking! This bitch is wildin'! Yo, this bitch Jennifer thinks shit sweet. She thinks shit sweet. This bitch Jennifer thinks shit is sweet. This bitch thinks shit sweet. Shit not sweet, Jennifer. Bitch wanna cry over about her ex. This bitch needs to go. This, yo, hold up. Let me talk to Jennifer personally, bro. I need to talk to Jennifer personally, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Jennifer, hold up. Get, 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 um, call, give me a second, my nigga. You cool, but nah, nah. This bitch Jennifer pissing me off. I ain't gonna hold you. Let me talk to this bitch Jennifer. Jennifer, I'm speaking to you right now. My, 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 my dark and black Nigerian ass. I'm speaking to you right now. I'm speaking to you personally right now. The fuck you crying for? The fuck you crying for? Y'all are dead. Y'all dead for eight years. You cheat on him with his friend. And you, and you broke up the relationship that that friend had with the other girl. And you talking about somehow, nigga, after, after we broke up, I found someone that laced better down than you, bro. The fuck you talking about? You crying about your ex. What are you talking about? See, you know, you know what it is, Jennifer? You know what it is, twin? No, I ain't calling you twin. I can never be twins with someone like you. A bop. See, I know cool bops. You not a cool bop. Because at least the cool bops be honest about their bullshit. You not honest about your bullshit. See, the cool bops, they're self-aware bops. 
They know when they fucking doing dumb. They know that they whoring. You don't. You don't know that you're being a whore right now. So I'm going to talk to you. I'm talking to you right now. What makes you feel like you have to cry about your ex? If anything, he should be crying. He, him crying? Yeah, him crying is valid. He treated you with respect. He loved you. He loved you. He cared for you. He thought, he, like he said, well, he said he gave it, he gave it his all. What you doing? You doing? Slobbing on other dick. Get it? Uh, uh, uh. My other dick. And you talking about you cry over your man when you cheat on him. See, I know what you're trying to do. You know what you're trying to do? You're trying to, you came back on the show because you thought shit was sweet. And I bet, I bet it was you that reached out to him to come on the show. I bet it was you that reached out to him too. You came on this show because you thought shit was sweet. You thought, you thought the grass was greener on the other fucking side. You thought you could go around, do your shit, ah, da, 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 da. And that, guess what? You found out the hard truth. That shit ain't green. That shit, that shit dark as fuck. There's no color in that shit. That shit gray. That shit gray as fuck. That grass ain't green. It's so bad. That shit's gray. It's a gray ass yard. Graveyard type shit. That shit, no color in that bitch. No color. That's what you've been hit with. That's the full fucking reality. Cold fucking reality. So you come back on this show to just go talk to him face to face. You try to bet you trying to butter him up, trying to get him to be like, I want to get back together with you. No. No. And I'm not gonna hold you, bro. No. If that nigga if that nigga fucking says yes. I'm, cl I'm, I'm, I'm not watching this shit no more. If he says yes, if they get back together after this video, I'm not watching this shit no more. If there pops a question, I, I'll get back together with my ass if I could. And then he, she asks her, no, then she asks him and he says yes, I'm not watching this shit no more. I'm going to sleep. Because you're fucking wildin'. You're fucking wildin'. I, 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 don't need, I don't need to see bullshit tonight. That's, I'm not trying to go to sleep watching bullshit. I'm going to do, do other shit. Um, she, she'll make me do schoolwork. Actually, no, I'm lying. Nothing could make me want to do that. <laughs> Willingly. We re I, I, I'm going to end it mid-video. Mid-video, he pops a question. Would you get back to go with your ex? And he says, yes. I'm going to sleep. I'm, going to, I'm not and watching this little, shit. I don't care. Because mm -hmm. it's going to piss Priscilla, me. you loved him more than he loved you during the relationship? He initially pursued me. And then as we got more and more into it, I mean, he's the one who broke up with me. So obviously I loved him more. At that point, he was my forever. I never saw anybody else but him. For like me. the one? Yeah, he was just the one. Victor, did you know that she thought, she felt that you were the one? Uh, yeah, she would say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I, I learned uh, something about myself in that relationship. And that was that I'm not that much of a relationship person. It was like tough to reconcile because while we were in it, it felt like this is such a good relationship. This is so solid. Like this is somebody that I should have in my life forever. But it still wasn't like satisfying on the inside. Like I still didn't feel like I wanted to be in a relationship. So you haven't been in a relationship since? Since we broke up, I haven't dated anybody. But no, he's definitely the kind of person where mid conversation, he's like, I'm done with this conversation. Mm. And that's how I felt a long time about our relationship that he mm. just woke up and was like, yeah, I'm good about this now. <laughs> How did that feel when you, when you discovered that? When you felt that from him, like, oh, he's done. I re remember specifically when I felt it, it was about three months before we broke up because we went to the movies and I went to hold his hand and it was the first time he didn't hold it back. Mm. And I just mm. instinctively knew that like something was off. And then two days after my birthday. Damn! Damn! Damn. Yeah, he's fucked up for that. He's fucked up for that. He noticed and unappreciated. Damn, that's literally the same question. That yeah, they they finna they finna go back and forth at this one. Oh shit. Let's let's hear that shit. Baby. All right, play play play. Make your split decision in three, three two, two, one. one. For sure, they gonna put yeah. Go ahead and turn around. Got done. I feel like that was unsaid in our relationship, but it that was the way it was. In your mind, that's the way it was. Mm. So, Ray, you made some significant sacrifices that you felt were unappreciated, unnoticed. Yes. Um, when we started dating, we lived like 45 minutes away from each other, and I would drive to you every weekend. You came to my apartment once, wow. did it, what, like six months we were together at that time? Wow. See, nah, nah that's fucked. See, I'm not, I, I'm not fucking with her. 
First, she don't did the fucking red flags after a date. That's strike one. And strike two, it's like, you gotta reciprocate energy, bro. That's one of the most important parts of our relationship. Their energy has to be reciprocated. That's how I feel. Not like, oh, the guy has to do this, and the girl, the guy has, the girl has to do all this bullshit, and the guy doesn't have to do anything else to provide. Like, listen, to me, I believe energy needs to be reciprocated. If I drive 45 minutes to see you, next time you drive 45 minutes to see me. Unless we predetermine that, like, your spot's like a hangout spot, because, like, your house is just cool in the mind. Because, like, y'all know how, like, you guys would be going to friends' houses and shit, and, like, Y'all all have that one friend's house wh whose house is just so cool. They have so much shit you can do there. So their house is just a designated hangout spot. Unless it's shit like that, like energy needs to be reciprocated. Like I go to your, I'm driving, I'm, I'm spending gas to come to you. You need to spend gas to come to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I flew from overseas to see you. Mm. Spent like $2,300 or $2, on a plane ticket. And you felt like you were doing me a favor by not, Charging me rent for the month that I was staying with you. Even mm. Mm -mm -mm. So many lace niggas in this lineup. It's insane. Jennifer, nigga, it's literally everybody on that side besides the one nigga with the girl. Like, the one nigga, one nigga, they cool, but like, everybody on that right side, they're they're all laced as fuck. Paired y'all. Jennifer, Bob, Jennifer, about to say some dumbass bullshit. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Right. You say yes, you want to get back together? Um, if there were a maybe, I would say maybe, maybe, but uh, there's a lot to work on. Trying to change that to be back together? I mean, I want to, but I don't know. I feel like you're not really ready for that conversation or something yet. She was my best friend. She was my girlfriend, my best friend, and pretty much my family, but kind of shattered that, so. It's kind of hard to rebuild. But you said yes, so. Yeah, I mean, like. <sighs> bro, I can't with this bullshit, bro. I can't with this bullshit, bro. How the fuck? How? I can't with this bullshit, bro. I can't. There's always there's, there's always <laughs> room. <laughs> you can't, you know? It's always room. But it's not going to happen overnight kind of thing. I still need to work on myself. The next prompt is. I believed we would spend the rest of our lives together. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Bitch, get your ass on the note. Bitch, take your goofy ass and stand on them. You cheated on the nigga. Talking about something we thought would be together. Bro, I hate delusional cheaters, bro. They be the most fucking... The way, oh, the way that some cheaters can just live in La La Land. It's insane, bro.